Good morning, my lovely boys and girls. Welcome once again to Online Church today. I hope you all had a beautiful night and you had a good morning. Um, thank you, Jesus, for bringing us again to this wonderful time in his presence. Before we go on, let's say a quick word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all together today. Thank you because in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We ask that as we've come to learn your word this morning, please help your children to be attentive, to learn something, and to have a heart that will continually seek after you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So what's next on our, on our agenda? It's praise and worship time. So I want you all to stand up, give your dancing, with your dancing shoes, give praise to God this morning because the Lord is happy when we give him praise. He, he enjoys it when we worship him as his children. So I want us to stand up if you're seated and let us go give God equality praise. And I will see you in a bit. You're watching Life Tree Kids. Watching Life Tree Kids. <laughs>
Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you did have a wonderful time worshiping and praising the Lord. I hope you were able to shake your body and give God the quality praise that it deserves. So going on into the next thing that we have today for today, today's a, a, a good time to also learn from the word of God. We're going to be learning a very interesting topic today and it's one of the miracles that Jesus did and um, this miracle is about Jesus feeding more than a lot of people in the Bible but before we go into that teaching I would like one of our friends to read the memory verse for today today's memory verse is John 6 35 then Jesus declared that I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Thank you, friend. So our memory verse was taken from John chapter 6, verse 35, which our friend already read for us. And I'm just going to read that again. He says, Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Thank you so much, our friend, for reading that for us. So today, our topic is about Jesus feeding the multitude so a lot of people came to Jesus and they were so so hungry and they didn't have any food to eat at the time they had got to know that Jesus used to perform miracles you know in di at different points in time and they came that day to listen to Jesus and at some point they became so so hungry they didn't have any food to eat and the disciples did also also did not know what to do so the disciples are the people that follow Jesus they are the followers of jesus they 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 bring they are, they are the followers of jesus let me just say that in in simple terms those are the disciples of jesus and the disciples did not know what to do they didn't have any food to give to the people as well and so um what did jesus do in this situation let's go on to watch the video for today after the video we're going to learn about what jesus did to the people, to the multitude that were hungry and did not have food to eat. And we'll come back to talk about the video. This is Jesus and his disciples. And these are two children who came to hear Jesus preach. Let's see how God is at work in the story of Jesus Feeds 5,000. People had come from all over to hear Jesus speak. Glanda Vladabo. <laughs> SWB audio capture not so registered. When everyone got hungry, people began to worry. Mmm. Mmm. Huh? Huh? Ah, 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 ah,
loaves of bread and two fish to the disciples. Hmm? Uh... But how could that feed 5,000 people? A <laughs> good <laughs> Jesus took the food and blessed it. Grande Vada. SWB audio capture not registered. But then a miraculous thing happened. <laughs> The food was given out to the people, but it never ran out. <laughs> Jesus had made enough food for everyone. <laughs> Jesus started with five loaves and two fish, and there were 12 baskets left over. All right, boys and girls, welcome back from the video. Did you learn anything about that? You did? That's good. So the topic is Jesus feeds 5,000. Jesus with 5,000. Of course, from the story, we would know that the 5,000 that was being referred to in this situation was just men. The Bible does not specifically tell us whether Jesus actually fed 5,000. Of course, we, there's a record that Jesus fed about 5,000 men. So the women and the children that Jesus fed were not recorded. So the story basically talks about the fact that this multitude, like I said before, they were very hungry. And the only person that had lunch in that gathering was this young boy that had five loaves and two fish. So, you know, the five loaves, if you know, the, I'm, I'm, I'm sure mommy and daddy can show you what a loaf of bread looks like at home. So imagine this guy only had, this little boy had five loaves of fish, just something he can eat by himself. And he also had two fishes that he can eat as well. And then every other person didn't have anything to eat. And what did Jesus do in order to feed everyone? Jesus told them, okay, let's get the food from this boy. He took the food, he prayed over the food, and then he, he, he broke the food. That's what the Bible says, that he broke the food. So by the way, the text is from John chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. For anyone that would like to read for their child, it's John chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. So Jesus took the bread and the fish, he prayed over it, he thanked the Lord for it, and then he broke the bread and the fish into, into and then the bread, the fish began to multiply and multiply and multiply. And everybody ate. 
Can you imagine that? Out of five loaves and two fishes that were there, it became a lot of food. It became a lot of food. Was that something that is possible to the human eyes? No, it is not, right? Would you imagine that? Imagine the bread in your fridge and somebody praying over that bread and it became loads of bread. It filled the entire living room that you sit or it filled the entire dining room that you in your house. And this food fed a lot of people. It fed so many people that came on that day, they were hungry. They were, they were called multitude. It fed a lot of them. Children came, mothers came, fathers came, and they, were, they ate to their satisfaction. To the extent that the Bible was only able to record about 5,000 men that was fed. We don't have records of the women and the, and the children that was fed. And you know what? After the whole feeding, when everybody were all satisfied, Jesus said to the disciples, his followers, the people that are always following him, he said, you know what? Go, we don't want any food to waste. So that's another thing. Jesus doesn't like us to waste food. And if mommy and daddy gives you food and you don't, you, mommy and daddy too do not expect you to waste food because there are people that do not also have food, you know, somewhere where they are. Jesus said, because we don't want this food to waste, can we count what is remaining and we can just take a, we can just take a measure of them. And by the time everybody were all done, the remaining food in the basket, they had 12 basket of food left imagine 12 basket of food left how many loaves of bread were there at the time who can remember how many it was five good job guys five loaves of bread and how many fish were there two fishes two fishes imagine imagine from five loaves and two fishes it became 12 baskets of food that was remaining how amazing is that how amazing is that? That's one of the miracles that Jesus did at the time. And you know what this lesson is teaching us today? It teaches us that there is nothing that we cannot ask from God. There is nothing that when we tell Jesus to do for us, that he will not do for us. Because if we ask him, he will do it for us. If we call upon him to help, he will definitely and surely do that for us. You know, everybody came hungry, but they left satisfied. So boys and girls, the lesson for today is that when you come to Jesus, no matter how you come, even though you're little, even though I'm speaking to you that you're four years old, you're five years old, even when you come to Jesus, you would never return not happy because he would hear your prayers. God can satisfy you. Jesus can satisfy you. Is there any miracle that you want Jesus to do for you? Are you sick in your body? Do you want to get better in school? Do you want to know how to read? Do you want to know how to write? Do you want God to provide job for your mom or your dad? Or is there something you're asking God to do? Don't think because you're young, you cannot ask him. Ask him. It would do it for you. This multitude came to Jesus. They came hungry, but they left satisfied. You can also come to Jesus and you will live happy and satisfied in Jesus' name. So that's our lesson for today, my dear, brother, my dear boys and girls. And I hope you learned something amazing and interesting from this miracle from Jesus. It turned how many bread and how many, it turned five loaves of bread and two fishes to a lot, to a lot to feed multitude. And they all went satisfied. Do not forget, no matter what you ask Jesus, he will always do it. Because when we ask him, he would always answer us. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope this was a good time this morning and you learned from this. I want us to go on to listen to our memory verse once again before we close for today. So let's have our friend read the memory verse again to us. Today's memory verse is John 6, 35. Then Jesus declared that I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Thank you, my friend, for reading that memory verse. Do not forget, friends, when we come to Jesus, we will never live hungry. And that's what the memory verse said to her, because Jesus is the bread of life. He is much more 
than the bread that we talked about because when we come to him, he has abundance in his house. He has abundance in his, in his life that we can feed from. So boys and girls, I want you to put your hands together this morning. I want you to pray to God that dear Lord, help me to seek your face. Help me to pray to you. Help me to know that when I come to you, you will always answer me. Help me to know that you are a miracle working God and there is nothing you cannot do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, my lovely boys and girls. This is the end of today's Bible teaching. Till I come your way, let's pray and then we would Let's pray together and then we'll go on to listen to some music and that will be the end for today. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the miracle of feeding more than 5,000 people. Bible says that you fed 5,000 men and lots of, and we, of course, we do not have the record of the women and the children, but we know from the Bible that 5,000, you fed them. Thank you for turning that five loaves of bread and two fishes into a lot, into multitude that could minister, that could feed a lot of other people that were hungry. Of course, we learned from this that if anyone come to you, they can never return hungry. They can never return back like the way they came and as we've learned today dear lord i pray that you would help my lovely boys and girls to know that they can come to you and they can ask you for anything in jesus name you said that if we come to you you will by no means cast us away i pray for my boys and girls that are as they, as they come to you as they pray to you though they are young but you said that we should allow the boys and the girls so these little children to come to you for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I ask, oh God, that these boys and girls, these lovely children watching me today, they will learn to come to you. They will learn to talk to you as their father. They will learn to talk to you as their friend. And they would also enjoy the miracle that you performed in the Bible in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for the wonderful time, boys and girls. Till I come your way next time. See you. Have a lovely, lovely week. I love you and Jesus love you more. God bless you. Bye. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord.